What's happening everybody, John Ryan here, and I'm going to take you through the basics of how to install mods for Fallout 4 on PC using the newly updated Nexus Mod Manager. First off though, a big old disclaimer, adding mods to any game means altering the game files and how it runs. Always make sure you back up your game files and that you're downloading mods from a trustworthy source. While the Mod Manager definitely makes adding mods to your game way easier than doing it manually, there are a couple of things we need to take care of before we get underway. If you've already watched our other video on manually installing mods, you can skip ahead a bit, but here's what you have to do in order to get Fallout 4 ready for all that modified goodness. The first thing that you want to do is make a backup copy of all of your game files. This will ensure that if something goes horribly wrong, or if you need to uninstall a bunch of mods that maybe you forgot the locations of, you can start fresh without having to re-download or reinstall the entire game. For those of you who might be new at this, all you need to do is find the game's main files. In our case, it's located in C Drive, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Fallout 4. Make a new file wherever you want to store your backup. We're just using the desktop for now. Then select the game folder, right click and hit copy or use Control C, and then paste everything into that backup folder. You also want to make copies of your game's configuration files, which by default can be found in your Documents folder under My Games and then Fallout 4. Once you've done that, there's just two more steps to get through before you're ready to start installing your mods. In order to allow you to install and use mods in Fallout 4, you'll need to add a couple of lines to your configuration files, which again by default are found in Documents, My Games, and Fallout 4. First, open fallout.ini with a text editor. You can just use Notepad if you don't have anything fancier, and scroll down to the Archive section, and find a line that reads S resource data DIRS final equals strings. And then copy and paste the text from below to add textures, music, sound, interface, meshes, and a bunch of other file types to this line. Use File Save or Control S to save the file, then open falloutpress.ini. Scroll down to the very bottom or use Control F to find the section labeled Launcher and add the line B enable file selection equals 1 directly below it. If for some reason that line already exists, make sure it's set to 1 instead of 0. And that's it! Now you're ready to start installing mods for Fallout 4, and thanks to the Nexus Manager, it is way easier to do than you might think. Now if you don't already have the Manager installed, you'll need to log into their site or create an account and download the latest version. If you do have it installed, you'll need to make sure that you've updated it to at least version 0.610. Once you've gotten that installed, you've logged in, and you've set it up to save your mods in your desired files, go ahead and pick a mod that you want to install. If the mod can be installed directly via the manager, simply click on the link of the version you want to install under the Files tab of the mod page that says Download with Manager. Once the download's completed, all you need to do is double-click the mod itself in the Mods tab, or highlight it and hit the Enable Mod button in the sidebar. If you've downloaded a mod from a site other than Nexus Mods, or perhaps didn't really have the ability to download via the Manager, you can easily import the mod into the Manager by using the Add Mod button in the sidebar and selecting the archive file you want to add, or simply by dragging and dropping it right into the Mods window of the Manager. Once you've installed all of your desired mods, being sure to follow the instructions detailed by the creators, check the Plugins tab of the Manager to make sure all your add-ons are there, and then launch the game and enjoy! Hopefully this has helped you get a handle on installing mods for your copy of Fallout 4. For a full catalog of our favorite mods, be sure to check out our wiki, and if there's anything awesome you think we missed, let us know there or in the comments below. For everything else on Fallout 4, you're already in the right place, IGN. Sounds like fun.